What's up guys and welcome back to another video right into my YouTube channel. Today I'm gonna basically tell you how to fix every kind of FPS dropping, stuttering or frame dropping issue you're currently having in Resident Evil Village. So stick to the end guys, this will be a step by step tutorial and in the end you will perfectly know what to do in order to fix this kind of issue. Before we start right into the video, I just want to you guys know or let you guys know that I would really really appreciate it if you would just leave a like, a comment or a subscription right into my YouTube channel. It would really make my day and help me out as a little YouTuber as I am. Especially subscribing would be such a big support for me guys, you would support my work here on YouTube a little bit and I'm gonna really really be thankful for that and I'm gonna thank you for that, so anyways I would just say let's get right started. So the first step I would recommend doing for everybody is gonna be to simply navigate to the very bottom of your screen where you're gonna right click your taskbar and open up your task manager. So once you did that, I want you to navigate to the top left corner of your screen, clicking onto processes and once you click processes, I want you to click CPU. And what I want you to do with CPU is gonna be to end every single task which is currently having too much CPU or GPU usage at the moment. So to, uh, one reason for that I'm gonna explain it. So too many applications, too many programs, too many games running at the same time in a low-end or bad PC with too much CPU or GPU usage will cause crashing, lagging or freezing and FPS drops, frame drops, stutterings, whatever. You can just, it will just destroy your PC. So just simply end this task. So once you're finished with that, I want you to end this task again. So, so the task manager. Afterwards, navigate to the bottom left corner, click under the window symbol, open up your settings, hit gaming, so this one, and I want you to stick around the Xbox game bar, where I obviously want you to turn this off because the Xbox game bar doesn't really come with any benefit besides impacting your performance really bad. So just simply turn this off. Afterwards, hit captures, and once you hit captures, load a little bit, yeah, now, uh, you're gonna stick around background recording and go to record in the background while I'm playing a game and obviously turn this off because... I mean, it's obvious that if you're recording something in your background, especially in low-end or bad PCs, it will impact your performance really bad, you don't want that, so just simply turn this off. Afterwards, hit game mode, and now I can really tell you to turn this off or on, you need to check it for yourself, and just simply with, stick with the setting which is working better. Go back once, and hit update and security, we want you to stick around Windows Update. And I know guys, it's gonna sound a little bit basic, but trust me, updating every single drive you could possibly update on your PC will help you a lot of every kind of issue you're currently having, and also with FPS stops, stream drops and stutterings. So, down to the latest version of Windows and once you're finished with that I want you to simply end this task and search for your graphics card driver application on your PC or your browser and down the latest version of your graphics card driver just to provide the best possible performance in general for your PC. That's it for the video guys I hope that I could actually help you out of this one if it was like that just leave a like a comment or a subscription I'm gonna really be thankful for that and I'm gonna thank you for that so anyways I would just say have a nice day see you at the next one and bye.